Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will be showing you how to get full path of the files in UiPath. For this tutorial, I will be working on sample directory, which is this one, my folder. And I have three files in that folder. We will try to read their uh, file path in this directory. So, first of all, we need to read our file path. For that, I will use assign activity. Let's get our file paths. So, and I will assign these paths here. Then I need to get file names in that folder. For this, we will use special expression, which is directory and I will use assign again. So to be able to get file names from the directory, we need to use directory class. And since we need to read file names, we need to get files. So we will use get files method, which is this one. Here we need to specify the path of the files. So it is file paths. And I write file path here. There can be one or more files in that directory so that we need to define string array for these file names. So let's define it file list and then I will change it to array of string. So we will get these files in that directory and then we will use for each and we will iterate those file names and maybe we can write their names so let's see with log message here and let's choose info and we can simply say item to string so we get the file paths and then we have used directory class and it's get files method here and we simply gave our file path hopefully we will get file list from that directory and after that we will iterate the file list and we will read the items names so let's do it run file i have txt powerpoint and excel file so let's check the results and as you can see, employee list, state machine and terms of service. So there are three files in my folder and there are three files in my folder too. So rather than getting the names of the file, what else can we achieve, especially when we're working with the files? So actually we can get far more than file names itself. Let's say if you want to get creation date or if you want to get the extension, we can easily get those properties. But for this manner, we need to define new variable and we need to define that variable as a file info. And let's get into that. So I will use again a sign and I will simply say JTLK file info and I will just say new file info item. Let's change the type of that variable to the file info. Let's look for that. Here it is under the system IO, so we need to choose that one. Okay, so we have an error here. The reason of that error is that we need to define item as a string, but it is defined as a object here. So we need to change type argument as a string. Let's change it to string and then error is gone and we can play with this file info so let's try to get its creation date and its extension with this file info information let me add file info 
and as you can see here we can get creation time we can get directory name we can get extension we can get full name last access time last write time name length etc there are lots of things for us to get there i will need extension first of all and then i will need name extension and name which will be file info name okay let's try to run that one okay extension xlsx employee xlsx pptx and txt so you can say that we can simply uh, split the name of the file and we can get the extension from the full name that's okay but you don't have to deal with that you can get the extension with the file info information so let's add also creation date here let's delete the extension and creation date creation time I think it's in date time yeah so we need to say to string okay let's run it again and now we get the creation date for the each of the file in that directory as you can see here especially if you are working with the files you can choose to work with file info uh, class so that you will be able to get all those information from that class and you can get necessary uh, information for your automation and hopefully it will be helpful for you thank you for watching hope you to see in next video bye bye